welcome to my channel. It's Rebecca, also known as 4Kids147. And I have an unboxing today. Now this one is um, my second diamond painting kit from Easy Whim. So this is a kit club that you can join. Um, and there are, there are different levels of boxes and different amounts that you can spend. Um, but I chose to go for the smallest one that they do um, because I wanted to see what sort of variety you could get. Um, many people go for the bigger box or at least from what I've seen on, on posts and things a lot of people go for the bigger box. Um, but I already have a lot of stuff um, and I wanted to see you know what is the cheapest option for people out there to be able to get. This one came a lot quicker than the last one. Um, so they have had shipping delays with, of course, COVID. Um, and I know a lot of people were waiting a long time for other boxes. And there are, in fact, some people that are still waiting for some boxes. Um, I know that if you were part of this group in or if you had an April kit, I think that came by boat. So that has been extremely slow for some people um, and some are still waiting on it. May, which was my first box, was rather slow. Now, part of that they do say is due to your first box being slower than the rest because they hand pick it. Um, but apparently they hand pick them all, so... I don't quite know how that works um, but this one my July box even though this video is probably not going up as soon as I got it it took about three weeks just over three weeks to actually reach me so that's nice because you get your box before you're charged for your next one which is always the better way um, June box they paused Due to shipping delays, they didn't ship. Um, I think they shipped the, the diamond painting only box um, because they'd taken a break on that another month. But for um, this basic, I think it's members box that I get, they didn't ship any in June and they didn't charge for any in June to allow a bit of catch up. So this is July's box and we'll have a look at what I got. So what does it say? Um, so this is my July box of diamond painting and craft goodness. Uh, apply your mosaic pattern sticker. So apparently I have one of those. Um, I have some mandala brooches and a unicorn key ring by the looks of it. So let's have a look. So the idea is that it comes with two 30 by 40 paintings. Um, which I'll have a look at what images I've got in a moment. In these two, I, the designs I chose, because you do get to pick themes, so I chose to have um, abstract as one theme, and then I chose random for the second team, theme, sorry, so that I could show you guys lots of different things that you may get that may go across different categories. Um, I thought that was the best way to do it. So we'll have a look at what I've got for those in a minute. And I did choose to have square. Um, I have quite a lot of round diamond paintings in my collection at the moment. So I did choose to have square. Okay, so we've got two kits. Um, they both have come with nice tweezers. Um, they've come with pens with grips. We've got the nice white trays and we've got wax. So I've got two of those. Oh, I have a rogue elastic band, very nice. So they often include one or two diamond painting things, but then they include something that is different. So last month, uh, or last kit I got was some scratch art. Um, and this one looks to be, it's, it's a unicorn keyring, but it's diamond beads. So I'm not sure if you can see that. They're little beads instead of diamonds. So, ooh, um, we have lots of 
filling. Let's see if I can get that out without it sticking. Okay, so it's more of a cross stitchy or a bead stitch. So you see here, we get lots and lots of little beads and some thread that we then stitch onto the unicorn. So it is, it is a different craft. Um, and that is the different craft for this month is a unicorn key ring. Have I actually got the key ring piece? Oh yeah, it's in there. Um, it does come with full instructions inside as well. So we do some bead needle work and then we must stuff said unicorn and stitch it up. So that's DIY bead embroidery kit. So that's a little bit different. I like the fact of trying something a little bit different. Okay, these are diamonds. They are crystal, oh, these have brooches on the back. Mm. So they come with little brooch pieces. So that will be the sticky tape, but it will make a badge. I think it's more, I don't know if it's more of a badge or a brooch. Um, they all look to be the same. So you get three exactly the same. And they're sticky, but they're also on sort of like a gold mirror effect for extra sparkle. Maybe that's why they call it a brooch. You do get a very basic toolkit within it as well. Let's have a look at what the diamonds look like. So it's more of the crystal type diamonds. Oh, maybe they are different because I have different colours. So maybe each one takes a different colour palette and gives you a different look. So they all come in baggies. So this one is like pinks and purples. Are they all pinks and purples? Oh no. So in this one, the I'm not even putting it back in the right packet. So you can see the teardrop in this one is pink. Whereas in this one, it's purple. And in this one, it's white. So you can actually really see all the colors. So that's got pink, blue, gold, and white. This one's got purple, pink, silver, and more purple. And this one's more pink with a hint of purple. So they will each turn out differently. So let me get those diamonds back in there. Okay, so you get three sets of diamonds and while the badges, they all do look the same, they will turn out different because the diamonds are different. So let's pop those back in there. If I can stop them sticking because otherwise I will mix up the projects, especially when I'm doing such a big unboxing. And then this one, so this is just a big sticker. So I'm sure you could use this for all sorts. Um, it's got, I think it's got a clear coating on the top. It feels like it has, it feels like it's quite thick. So I'm guessing that's where the diamond stick, of course, on the front. So yeah, the diamond stick on the front, that is very sticky. And then you can peel off the back. If I can get hold of it. Yeah, so you can peel off the back and it becomes a big sticker. So whether you use, oh no, that didn't peel off. Okay, I'm sure it said it was a sticker. Did it say it was a sticker? Apply your mosaic pattern sticker on a clean, flat and dry surface. Yes. So maybe I just didn't get the coating off right. Trying again and it's not working. Okay, so I've got the top part. So where's the... I can get the top coating off. I'm trying to get the second coating off. 
like this black sticker coating. Oh, there we go. There it is. So can you see? So you can see the pattern through, but it's basically sticky on both sides. This paper sheet is fine there. I just basically caught it halfway through because it's quite thick. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, that's just like a nice, simple checkerboard pattern, but you could cut that in any which way you want. You know, you can cut down and do smaller strips or longer strips. Maybe decorate a jar or something and wrap it round. And then we have diamonds to go with, which are square. And they do have the symbols on the back, so that you know which, but they look like nice quality diamonds that will focus in. So we've got some pink and some white. They haven't got DMC numbers. Um, so that's the only thing. They don't come with DMC numbers. But they look pretty colours. I think they're pretty anyway. So you can make yourself a zigzag sticker. I'll have to have a think what I'd want to put it on and that may bump it up my to-do list depending on what I want to stick a sticker on. Um, but yeah, you could cut that quite easily in a few different places to get a different thickness of zigzag. Okay, so that's all the extra bits or different bits but then you do also get two diamond paintings as well um, and these are 30 by 40 I'm pretty sure yeah yeah 30 by 40 I just need to get in them they're wrapped up like who I can wrap theirs up so plastic everywhere and then tape. So let me just get this to come off. Come on. I find if you cut it and then try and get the tape off, it's easier. There we go. Do I get any type of info? Oh, I do get an inventory sheet. It's wrapped up inside it. So this is the first one, cats again. I am not a cat person, but we've got cats in flowers. That's still quite sweet, even if I'm not a cat person. That is quite sweet and I could potentially do it as a gift for somebody who is. It does come with instructions and then it gives you a colour list, which does include DMC numbers and this one has 26 different colours. So this one, okay, this one pack of diamonds doesn't have a label on it, but this one does, and it's not that diamond painting. So this must be the cat one, and it does go up to 26. So that's the sort of colour palette that we get in this one. And let's have a look at the image quality. Oops. We've got a foam roller. I've got stuff everywhere. And my, da my uh, <clears throat> space in my craft room currently is pretty much as, as, as big as you can see the filming area. I don't have any sides to be able to contend with. This paper, this top paper feels very weird. It's not very waxy, but we've got no wrinkles on the back. No puckers on the back. We do look like we have a squashed fly on this cover paper, so maybe we'll be replacing that. Um, and it does only come as one big sheet, which is not ideal because I tend to rip those. Mm, the glue's not very nice either. Okay. See if I can get this peeled back. I don't know, just the quality of the glue doesn't seem as nice, but the image, the image seems to be shining through. So let me get that bit flattened back down. Oh, that didn't do very well, but at least it's down a bit. And let's peel up this bit, it's just so we can get it to lie flat. 
and we've got a piece here that is not covered so they've not got the glue all the way to the edge quality has slipped a bit I'd say just doesn't seem anywhere near as nice quality this cover paper which makes me wonder if the glue underneath is not as nice either but the image is cute even if it has got cats in it I'm not, I'm not anti cats being on the planet I just don't like them in my house so there we go that's the first one so I'm guessing that one is based on either animals or maybe flowers I don't know it's not abstract um, so that's based on that and then let's have a look at the second one again we've got all foamed up and then tape see if the the paper on this one does feel slightly different maybe it's me we'll see when we open it up okay so this one is abstract so let's get in it so this one is definitely what I'd call abstract I'm much happier with that than the one I got last month and um, this one has 25 colors and the code on here does match the code on the diamonds so I know that we've definitely got them in the right order uh, but we do have a nice inventory sheet to be able to use all the symbols Oh, I didn't notice that last month. I may have been not paying attention. Um, but they are all letters and numbers. So it's numbers 1 to 8. And then it goes down the alphabet. Missing out the likes of I because it's got the number 1. Um, it's missed out B possibly because it's got the number 8. Um, missed out L. And O. And P. So they've sort of picked letters that will definitely look different to any numbers. You know, B, B could potentially look like an 8 or a 3. You know, just to avoid confusion is my guess, but I'll take it. Um, the other one is the same. So while it has more letters and numbers, it is only letters and numbers. So... That can make it a lot easier to diamond paint, in my opinion. The symbols are nice, but of course we have all grown up with letters and numbers our whole lives. So they are a lot quicker to recognise and, you know, to keep one in your head. Otherwise, with symbols, you tend to find that you have to start giving them a name um, to make sure that you know what they are we've got no puckers again on the back of this one so that's good let's see if I can maybe let's try starting with the awkward size again I've actually got no glue across those bottom symbols so I may have to email them you can see the cover there does not cover them which means they haven't got any glue on um, and they've done that on this one as well it had a little row here that didn't so maybe let me just before um, I pull back the paper because I will potentially of course put it back in a different place is I will just take a photo of that close up to show that it doesn't have the glue on it um, and then I can message them because those two symbols across the bottom and most of these other ones all the way across this strip are not sticky at all. If they need a picture of, you know, the cover sheet or the, the top part, I can take those afterwards. I just wanted to take a picture in case when I peel this back and put it back down, it covers it up. It's not going to show what I'm trying to show. So, look at that for random. 
See, I like these types of ones because I like the bright colours and the blocks of bright colours that you tend to get with the random abs or abstract, should I say, the abstract images. Um, and with the others, it's, it's nice to get a variety of, of what it is. Um, I'm just going to take yet another picture because while it's only a little bit, there is a bit at the top as well. Somebody just hasn't put it on straight. And the quality of this glue and stuff does not feel as nice either. Just in case it actually, because of course the diamonds are so small, there's only a small amount without adhesive and you can't get the diamonds to stick. They will probably stick on that top section. But this bottom section, there is quite a few that it's not even half covered where the diamond needs to go. So there we go, that's that image. I like that. Symbols are all nice and clear. So let me see if I can get the camera to zoom down into like this bit here that shows you there's quite a few different colors. You can see there's quite a few different colors on that bit all in one space and they all look clear to me. Some of them are on white because they're a darker color and some of them are on black, which of course pop a little bit more, but they're very easy to see. The glue underneath seems fine. Um, it's just when pulling off this top coat, it seemed to be a little bit more tacky on the one underneath. So I've got one more month of this that I said I would give it a go. Um, and then I will make the decision whether to keep doing it. I'm not sure. I do like the idea that you get stuff that's a little bit different that you might not have chose to do for yourself. You know that it's 30 by 40 and they are true 30 by 40 if I remember. I'll just double check. So I'm just going up to where the actual diamonds go. So yeah, it is the, a true 30 by 40. You can get quite a nice cheap, as cheap as in, I think it's only like a couple of pounds, um, frame from Ikea in black or white that is 30 by 40. Um, so doing these can be, you know, maybe quite nice gifts depending on, of course you can get better frames, but they can be quite nice for gifts for people just as a little surprise without spending a fortune um, and you get the fun of doing them. Um, so yeah, I do like that idea. I do like the fact of getting other things that are a little bit different to try out, but we might see what the next box brings and what they say in regards to this before I make a decision. But we've got quite nice colors in this random one say we do get all the DMC codes so we've got some of your 666 your bright red your 720 and your 728 for your others and a few of them are quite muted but we've definitely got some bright colors mixed in there so I think that will turn out well once it's done so that is this one so you can see quite a few of of this sort of spring and stuff are quite bright but then some of the background is a bit muted it's a little bit different. I've not seen that design anywhere before. So that's quite nice. Um, and I say, I like the fact that the symbols are all very clear. So yeah, we've got two diamond paintings. Um, we have something to try. So it's beads and embroidery. So sometimes when I am sitting on the couch, I fancy more sitting there and stitching than I fancy sitting up and diamond painting. And um, so that's always so much nice to do. These little brooches, they're nice even to get somebody to try out diamond painting. I mean, these have the grand sum of four different colors. So they're very, four different types of beads. So they're very easy to do. They're a very nice snack project. And I do like the fact that, you, that each of them has a different colorway. So you could in effect break that up into three kits if you wanted to, you know, let a child or a friend give it a go. Um, you could give them a brooch each to try and see if they like it. Toolkits, nice toolkits. Um, and then this, which is a little bit different. Not quite sure what I'm going to use it yet for. For yet. 
yet for, for yet, um, but um, I, you know, I think there are many possibilities, maybe wrapping around a jar or decorate a notebook. You could even make yourself a couple of bookmarks out of it because you could still cut it in half uh, and make yourself a bookmark or two or three or four. Um, a few different options with that. And it's square diamonds. So if you're maybe somebody that had chosen to get your diamond paintings in round and then got this, that might give you some way of trying out squares without getting a full painting. It can stop you getting, you know, just to figure out if you like it. You know, you can go, you can cut off a section if you just wanted to do a bit and that could still get covered on a notebook and look nice. Um, and if you really enjoyed it, you could do the rest, but then you'd know whether to get yourself um, maybe a, a full picture in square or not. But yeah, pretty happy with that selection. Um, but thank you so much for joining me while I waffled on through this unboxing. Um, and we'll see what next month brings. Speak to you all again soon.